Unit 2, Lesson 5, Defining Equivalent Ratios. Number 1. Each of these is a pair of equivalent ratios. For each pair, explain why they are equivalent ratios or draw a diagram that shows why they are equivalent ratios. A. 4 to 5 and 8 to 10. One, two, three, four, two, one, two, three, four, five. Four to five, two, four, six, eight, two, four, six, eight, ten. So this diagram worked for four to five and it also worked for eight to ten, proving that four to five is the same ratio as eight to ten. B, 18 to three and six to one. One, two, three, four, five, six to one. Six to one ratio. Three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen, eighteen to three. So this worked for six to one and it works for eighteen to three. Two to seven and ten thousand to thirty five thousand. 10,000 to 35,000 is no different than 10 to 35. If we had 2 to 7, 5 times greater, 2 times 5 would be 10, and 7 times 5 would be 35. The same thing could be done to make these things 10,000. Like 2 times 5,000 would get you to 10,000 and seven times 5,000 would get you to 35,000. Number two, explain why six to four and 18 to eight are not equivalent ratios. Six to 18 means that six became three times greater. The six times three equals 18. Four to eight is only two times greater, not three times greater. What would make this equivalent is if this were a 12. Four times three would equal 12. Six times three gets you to 18. They're not equivalent ratios. Number three, three to six and six to three. 3 to 6, 3 times 2 gets you to 6. 6 times 2 would get you to 12, and this 3 is not a 12. Therefore, it's not an equivalent ratio. Number 4, this diagram represents 3 batches of light yellow paint. Draw a diagram that represents one batch of the same shade of light yellow paint. So all of this represents 3 batches. So if we were to divide this by 3, it would become 1 batch. So we're looking to make one batch. So let's divide this by three. So there were nine cups of white paint. There are 15 cups of yellow paint. So one batch would be three cups of white paint and five cups of yellow paint. Number five, in the fruit bowl, there are six bananas, four apples, and three oranges. For every four apples, there are three oranges. The ratio of bananas to oranges is six to three. Six bananas for every three oranges. C, the ratio of blank to blank is four to six. There are four apples to six bananas. The ratio of blank to blank is four to six. The ratio of apples to bananas is four to six. For every one orange, there are blank bananas. Well, the ratio of oranges to bananas is three to six. So there's twice as many bananas as there are oranges. So when there's one orange, there must be two bananas. Number six, write fractions for point A and point B on the number line from zero to one represents one. This point here represents the halfway point. So this is one half. 
This here from zero to one, it represents one. And let's see how many pieces it's cut into. One, two, three, four, five, six. This is cut into six even pieces. So we have six pieces to make one whole and it's cut into six even pieces. First one here would be one. Six A would be two sixths, which is the same as one third. The halfway point, that would be three sixths, which is the same as one half. And then this one is four sixths. B is going to be five sixths. And then obviously right here at the end, you're going to get to six sixths. So they needed the tick mark for B, which is five sixths. They needed the tick mark of A, which is one third. A equals one third. B equals five sixths. You're done with unit two, lesson five, defining equivalent ratios.